Superior, Michigan, Huron, Erie, Ontario. The Great Lakes, the largest freshwater system in the world. But how did they come to be? During the last ice age, glaciers, some up to a mile thick, covered all of Canada and most of the United States in what's known as the Laurentide Ice Sheet. Glaciers, when they move, are terrific agents of erosion. Glaciers scour the ground, creating basins, both large and deep, from already existing valleys. Lake Superior is both the largest freshwater lake by area in the world and the deepest of the Great Lakes at 406 meters deep. Most lakes in Canada and the northern part of the United States were created by glacial scouring. As the glaciers melted, the fresh meltwater settled into these newly created basins. But why are they at different elevations? Lake Ontario is at a significantly lower elevation due to the Niagara Escarpment, the cliff where Niagara Falls flows. But even the other lakes do not have the same elevation. The surface of Lake Superior is higher than all the other lakes. This is due to isostatic rebound. When land is under the immense pressure of mile-thick glaciers, it becomes depressed. When that pressure is released, the land is raised as it rebounds. This means that the rebound around Lake Superior was greater than that of the other lakes. This creates rivers that flow downhill between the lakes. This creates the largest freshwater system in the world, vital for transportation, drinking water, tourism, and so much more. And until next time, thanks for watching.